Good evening, thanks for watching Turner Classic Movies. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Tonight, another lineup of films focusing on piano players. Last week, we featured classical pianists and composers. This week, we begin with the essentially true story of a New York jazz piano player and band leader of the 1930s and 40s. From Columbia Pictures in 1956, the Eddie Duchin story. Tyrone Powers stars as Duchin, and right off the bat, we see the grinning musician arrive in the big city, all decked out in a newsboy cap and a new suit, practically belting out gee whiz as he looks around Manhattan. Duchin seems to understand that if he can make it there, he can make it any, any other place as well. Quickly, he charms his way into a gig, providing background music for New York swells as they eat their fancy dinners. The crowds love him, and Duchin is on his way to success, playing in a big showy style that might have had Liberace saying, hey friend, maybe, you know, tone it down a notch. Though he doesn't play the music in the film, Power worked hard to convincingly mime his way across the keys. The excellent supporting cast here includes Kim Novak as the society woman he falls for, and James Whitmore as his manager. Duchin wasn't all that well known outside of New York's cafe society. That changed with the success of the Eddie Duchin story, which became a solid box office hit that spawned a million-selling soundtrack album. The director of this glossy Technicolor film is fitting. It's George Sidney, who, as a child, took piano lessons from the real Eddie Duchin. From Columbia in 1956, the Eddie Duchin story. Tyrone Power knew the real Eddie Duchin. They were close friends. Sadly, Power and the doomed band leader would share a tragic commonality. Both died young. Duchin was 41 when he died in 1951. Power was just 44 when a heart attack killed him while he was making Solomon and Sheba in Spain in 1958, just two years after the Eddie Duchin story hit theaters. Appropriately, the piano theme from the film was played at Tyrone Power's funeral. Eddie Duchin's son, Peter, followed in his father's footsteps, became a successful pianist and society band leader in New York. Peter and his musicians played at official White House dinners and inaugural balls for presidents from Lyndon Johnson through Bill Clinton. He also provided the entertainment at the ultimate New York society bash, Truman Capote's Black and White Ball in 1966. Ahead tonight, Hungarian composer Franz Liszt meets a princess and falls in love, but a happy ending is far from a sure thing. Song Without End is next on TCM.